Hello, this is meteorologist Brian Bargenbrook with the National Weather Service in Topeka. And this is a hazardous weather briefing detailing the severe weather potential this afternoon on Monday into the overnight hours and then persisting through the remainder of the week. There will be several chances for strong to severe thunderstorms throughout the week, but there is an enhanced severe weather threat this afternoon and into the evening hours, perhaps persisting into the overnight. The potential exists for all modes of severe weather, including hail, damaging winds, tornadoes, and even some flooding. But a mixture of large and small weather features is driving the forecast with some uncertainty regarding the details. Regarding today's severe weather potential, we do have some moderate to strong confidence that there will be severe weather across the area, likely initially developing in north central Kansas. Now this morning we will have some storms across northeast parts of Kansas, and these have produced rather heavy rain. While flooding has not been a huge issue this morning, the heavy rainfall could set the stage for flooding issues as more storms move through the area tonight and through the remainder of the week. But regarding today, a strong cap should weaken late in the afternoon, and when storms develop, they will quickly become severe due to the large amount of instability and wind shear. The best chance for initial development appears to be in north-central Kansas at this time, likely during the mid to late afternoon hours. You can see in this image that the Storm Prediction Center has issued a moderate risk for severe weather across a large part of the area, and at least a slight risk for severe weather across the entire forecast area. If we zoom into specific threats for this afternoon and overnight, you can see that the tornado potential appears to be highest in north central Kansas, and perhaps extending into northeastern Kansas later in the evening. Notice the 10 percent chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a point, but then also notice the black hatched area, which indicates that there is some potential for strong tornadoes or potentially violent at times if the situation sets up ideally. The hail potential appears to be very high with a 45 percent chance of large severe hail within 25 miles of a point. Again, we have the black hatched signature indicating that very large hail of two inches or greater will be possible. Finally, we expect these storms to develop into more of a wind producer as the night goes on, possibly spreading widespread winds across much of north central, northeast, and east central Kansas on into Missouri. So today the overall hail threat is rather high. We could see hailstones potentially as large as baseballs in large isolated supercell thunderstorms. The wind threat appears to be moderate early but increasing late when these storms may congeal and do a, a widespread bow echo with damaging winds. The tornado threat also appears to be moderate, and tornadoes are possible. The best chance appears to be between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. with any of the more isolated cells that develop, but that potential could last into the overnight hours. Tuesday afternoon and overnight also poses another severe weather risk across the area, particularly across central and north central Kansas, but it may encompass the entire area. This will depend on the location of weak fronts that are set up after today's thunderstorms. As we go through the rest of the week, the severe weather potential will continue, but will vary from day to day based on the overnight storms and how they interact with the atmosphere. The storm chances seem to be highest from Thursday into Friday when widespread strong to severe storms appear possible. All modes of severe weather will be possible throughout this period hail, damaging winds, tornadoes, and the flooding potential will increase through the week as the ground becomes increasingly saturated with repeated rounds of thunderstorms. It's very important during a severe weather situations to have more than one method of receiving warnings and other weather information. Be prepared for power outages or cell phone outages and have that information available via more than one method. This has been a hazardous weather briefing issued at 11 a.m. on Monday, May 27th. Prepare now for the potential of widespread and perhaps significant severe weather this afternoon and evening and potentially continuing through the rest of the week.